Okay, gentlemen, this is my attempt at explaining and resolving the flyaway issue that is being experienced by many of the Phantom owners. Uh, I guess to explain the beginning explanation, cell phone. Think cell phone, think GPS. Have you ever turned on your cell phone, opened up Google Maps, looked on Google Maps, and it throws you a dot? Or the little arrow that says you are here with the circle around it. A little blue arrow circle around it says you are here. And you're thinking, well, I'm not here. I'm over here. This could be 14 miles off. It could be way off. Uh, what do you do to solve that problem? You pick up your phone and you walk around a bit, move around a bit, and all of a sudden the dot jumps back and it shows where you're really located. Okay, now moving to the Phantom. What do we do with our Phantom when we go outside? We set the Phantom on the ground, turn on the remote controller, turn on the repeater, turn on the drone, sit there and wait for satellites to hook up. Wait for more than six satellites to hook up. Wait for the green lights to start flashing. It will mark your home location. Okay, what if that home location that's supposed to be here where you are is wrong? Common, common occurrence. We're only hooking up to public access satellite services. So, I mean, this, this, I Google it. It's all over the internet. It happens all the time. So you set your home location by taking off. Your home location was wrong when you took off. It was 14 miles away over here. Your drone is here. Now, uh, settings menu in uh, Phantom Assistant. Go into Phantom Assistant, click Advance, click Limits. On this settings page, it shows you your distance limits and your altitude limits. Or what do they call that? Radius and max height. Uh, under important notes number two, only throttle and rudder commands are available if the aircraft rushes out of the limits. And it will fly back towards the home point automatically. Remote controller regains all controls once the aircraft is within the green airspace. Okay, so your drone is here. You have a 1500 meter limit around your drone that's considered the home space. But you marked your home location 14 miles away. Then you took off and you started flying. That's what we do to recalibrate our Google Maps thing on our cell phone when the thing is wrong. So you take off and you start flying and you move around and all of a sudden it marks your home location or not marks the location but it shows that you're flying 14 miles away from a 1500 meter limit that it needs to get back into. Boom, starts flying towards that zone. And that's it. Dude, it's over. There's nothing you can do to resolve this now because your home location was marked wrong initially when you took off with the Phantom. I believe if you switch into ATTI mode, if you have your controller configured that way, that's not going to solve the problem. It's still going to try to fly home to the 1500 meter zone and get back in your 1500 meter limit. If you turn off your remote controller and go to RTH, well, what difference does that make if H is here? It's still going to try to return to home. That explains all that. Uh, explanations everybody's giving. It didn't matter what I did. It didn't matter if I turned it to ATTI. It didn't matter if I turned my controller off. It just kept going and it's gone. And your drone is flying back to a inaccurately marked home position. That's a standard glitch in public access GPS. Okay. So there's my thing. How do you solve that problem? I don't go out and set my phantom on the ground and let it mark its home position by itself. I set my phantom on the ground. I leave it sitting there for a few minutes, let it acquire six, seven, eight satellites, whatever it can get. Then pick the drone up and walk around with it. Move it around and make it, I, I don't know, you know, ping new data from the satellites and recalibrate itself several times as you're walking around because every time you go one meter, it has to recalibrate. It has to reinitiate the location that it's triangulating. If you do that and walk in a big circle, you know, give yourself 10, 12, 20 feet, walk in a big circle, you're much more likely to have an accurate home location. Set the drone down, take off your home location. 
is way more likely to be accurate. What else can you do? This 1500 meter limit as set in your settings in the Phantom Assistant is changeable. Change that limit. Change that limit so it's all encompassing. You, you Put the biggest number in there, you, you can't. Put a huge number in there. Put 100 miles, 200 miles. Set your limit so the drone, even if it calibrates its home position, doesn't think it's too far out and has to fly home. Then take off with your drone, fly around a little bit, come back to where you would like to land and flip the S2 button up and down five times and remark your home location. Your drone has flown around a bit. It's more than likely calibrated the home position a bit better. It works every time on the cell phones and remark your home position. You're much more likely to have an accurate home position. So anyway, yeah. That's my thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts. I'd really like to hear how Tahoe Ed uh, would think about this because I think this is solid, dude. I'll bet my $1,300 drone on it. I don't take off like that anymore. There's, you know, what are the chances? One in a thousand, one in two thousand chances that your home location could be marked wrong. But geez, I don't want to take those chances. Hey, another thing, DJI. How could they solve this problem with soft software? Uh... Parrot did it. Parrot did it with the AR drone on altitude problems. If you took off on top of a parking garage and flew off the edge of the parking garage, the drone would drop because it thinks it's six feet off the ground and you fly over an edge, it's trying to drop down and be six feet off the ground again. They introduced code into their software that ignored large changes in altitude so the drone wouldn't drop out of the air. If the change in altitude was too great over too short of a period of time, it was ignored by the system. DJI could do the same thing in the GPS system. You marked your home location wrong, or the GPS did. Your drone is actually over here. You fly around a little bit, and all of a sudden you have correct GPS data that's saying you're not near your home location. But that all happened in like a second and a half. That's too big. Your drone can't fly 14 miles in a second and a half. Those changes should be ignored. And a pop-up could come on screen in the app that says, remark your home location. Your home location is inaccurate. I think that's what DJI could do to sol solve the flyaways. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to post this on RC Groups and probably on the uh, DJI Phantom 2 Plus Vision uh, forum. See what you guys think. Thank you.